It might be, I don't know. <laughs> So I will bring a different challenge to Cormier because we haven't seen a lot of stuff about me. We haven't seen really what I'm capable of because my fights were really short and my first fight I was really not really ready for, for that fight. I took the fight on short notice. So it's something uh, that was different, but I know with the full camp I'm a different animal. You talked about how we haven't really seen everything from you. I mean, your, your Colin card is these short fights. That's what gets fans excited about. I mean, are you excited to, to show more, to have that opportunity? Yeah, definitely. It's going to be uh, also something I want to prove to myself. Um, I, want to, I want to prove myself what I can do and I, what I can do against somebody as, as good as him. Because, uh, let's face it, he's, uh, he's the best I ever faced. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I never faced anybody as good as him and he has a, so, so much high credential. But right now it's going to be my time. So throughout camp, what did you have to do to make sure that you were stepping up and taking that next step? I didn't switch too much stuff because uh, I figured out whatever I was doing was successful already. So it's just a focus on one, two or three different things. And of course, we need to be uh, training specifically for that kind of fighter. So it was just more oriented towards him plus a two or three change and that's it. You know, the, basically the same, same stuff I was always doing. He's definitely not going to be able to do as much as I, ca uh, I can while he's training. Uh, he, you know, his body cannot take it for sure. Uh, he has a long career, and uh, you know, mine, mine is shorter for now. But uh, he's also having 10 years of experience over him, so that's also something you have to balance, of course. So you have to know what the, the, the benefits he give you, and also the stuff that is going to be give, benefit him. I mean, of course, uh, that's uh, that, that's uh, for him. You know, it's, uh, he's the champion right now. We, uh, but I, I don't think he is riding the same momentum that I do uh, right now. I'm having uh, five fights, uh, five win streaks, and he's coming off a losses. I'm pretty sure he, since he's a really good competitor, he really gave me gave him a, a lot of uh, hungers, you know, and uh, motivation to train hard. So I'm expecting to face the best Daniel Cormier. I'm not expecting to face, you know, somebody who's like. 50% uh, in shape, so I'm really expecting the best. Last time he, he, he won the, the first time he won the title was also after a defeat, so you know he fought really well. And now uh, I, I know I'm going to face also the, the the best version of himself. How have you dealt with the extra obligation to promote this event? Is it annoying or do you enjoy it? I enjoy the process. Actually, uh, you have to you have to take everything step by step if you really want to enjoy it. Uh, if you really want to enjoy it, you have to really appreciate every moment. Otherwise, if you look at the big picture, you're going to maybe feel stressed out or maybe, you know, overwhelmed. And uh, if you really manage your time and manage all, every, everything, all the day-by-day -day operation, it's, it's pretty enjoyable. You obviously aren't much of a trash talker. It doesn't seem like you want to do that, but, but DC is. Has, has this become personal? Has he managed to...? No, actually, it's pretty funny. I, I, I like the way he talks. Uh, I'm a big fan of humor, and uh, I think he's really smart in, in his way of talking, uh, joking. So it's pretty funny, you know, but uh, definitely he's going he's gonna to see uh, uh, somebody that, he, that, he, that he's never seen. It's still crazy to you yet. I mean, you're not supposed to fight for a UFC title in your fourth fight in the company, right? It just doesn't really happen. Only for me. <laughs> no. Does it feel surreal and kind of, kind of crazy? So I always knew uh, inside of me that I, I, I will, I will uh, be a champion. And um, of course, I never thought about be, being uh, fighting for the belt in 2017. Uh, beginning of the year, I was struggling to find a fight. Then I got called out on short notice. And uh, now, uh, end of the years, I was already uh, signing the contract for the, for the world title. So definitely, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty crazy, intense first year. How long did it take you to kind of come down off that high of being excited about signing that contract that, hey man, I really am going to fight for a belt um, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still good about it. I, I, don't, I don't really care uh, in the sense that I always knew it was going to happen and uh, it's, it's kind of my destiny for me. That's what I strongly believe. So uh, I know it's, uh, it's part of the process and uh, I will be happy, you know, at the, at the, end, of the, at the end of the day. Good? Cool, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.